Hey guys, welcome to Sweet and Lowe's Crafting Studio. Today, I'm going to be showing you how we made these amazing epoxy tumblers with some homemade alcohol in. So. Oh my god, these things are like going to spill all over me. I can just have to check it out. Check, check. All right, let's get started. As always, when working with epoxy, make sure to put on a fresh pair of gloves. Okay, now it's time to get equal parts A and B of epoxy and mix them together. Make sure to get a popsicle stick and scrape all of the extra epoxy from the sides of the cup. Continue stirring the epoxy until they're both well mixed and the epoxy should be clear. Air bubbles will probably form, but it's okay. You can use the heat gun later to pop those before you put it on the cup. Most epoxies have about a 15 to 20 minute work time, so I like to set it down for about 5 minutes and let all the bubbles come to the top. These are the alcohol inks we made. I'm going to be using blues, purples, pink, and yellow. Like I said, there is some bubbles at the top, so just use your heat gun to heat it really fast, and it'll pop a lot of those bubbles. Using a gloved finger, make sure to coat the entire cup with epoxy. Be sure to cover the entire cup, including the bottom and the top rim. And remember not to be like me wearing a baggy shirt that's going to lean and get epoxy on your clothes. I typically like to start with whatever my middle color is going to be, so this was going to be pink, so I started with pink. I mixed in a little bit of yellow with the pink because it makes a pretty orange color. And then moved on to blue. I'm really happy with the vibrancy of these alcohol inks. I added a little bit of purple at the very end. Um, I didn't want the purple to take over the cup, so I tried to use it as sparingly as possible. I always like to wait until the very end to put the lighter colors because you're going to probably need more of the lighter colors to get them to show up. Make sure to get your heat gun out and pop any residual bubbles that are left on the cup. I had a little bit of epoxy left over that was starting to harden, so I added a little bit of gold pigment powder and a little gold glitter to uh, add a little accent to the cup. This epoxy had been sitting around for almost 15 minutes, so it was starting to thicken a little, so I had to make sure to use the heat gun to kind of get it to melt into the cup, but you know, don't scorch the cup with the heat gun. So here's the cup after drying. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. Happy crafting!